ESPN's got you number one as the pound for pound champ. 
do you feel that puts a little bit more pressure on you when you enter the ring? Do you carry that with you? It's a, it's a mythical title, but do you carry that with you knowing that I'm the number one on the planet right now? Well, n not really, you know, because I always felt like I was number one. You know, I always stated that I felt like I was number one pound to pound in the world. So I don't see uh, why people would think that it would add any pressure to me. This is, you know, what I do. And I'm comfortable with going in the ring this weekend uh, like any other fight. I love it. Kel, I want to read a couple fights here. Wilder over Fury. Money gone over Curry. Lewis over Holyfield. What would a Kel Brook victory over Crawford rank on that list? Coming on to U.S. soil. I think to me it'd be, uh, I'd have to argue with the number one. What I've been through and, you know, for me to come through, not just win, not just take the world champion, but to be the world champion where everyone considers pound for pound number one. You know, but I love a challenge, you know. Um, I'm not going to shy away from this fight. You know, I know, I know how good Terence is. I know it's going to be a, an odd fight. I've, I've prepared the way I have, you know. I'm, I'm a big welterweight. I can punch with both both hands. You know, I can switch. I've seen I've seen I've seen everything. You know, I've done this all my life. This is what I do. So as warriors, I'm gonna go out there and just gonna put put on a great show for the, the fans who are watching it. You mentioned and you've been talking about your shape a lot now, sitting here on stage about how great your camp has been, how you physically stay in shape in between fights. It's been a minute since your last fight. Talk a little bit specifically about camp, and you mentioned being away from family. What that's done to get you to this point? You know, because you know when I'm where I'm from in Sheffield, you know it's it's a ride away from the gym, you know, and you can, there's plenty of distractions for where I live. You know, plenty of distractions. I always start tightening that diet up and the training, getting close to the fight, and sometimes it's too late for someone like Terence took myself away as soon as I knew this fight were on. I give myself the perfect opportunity to knuckle down and realize why I'm away from my family, you know, to be great. And this Saturday is one of them nights. Champ, you've been in the bubble. It can get pretty quiet in there. But uh, I've got it written down here that your mother and your grandmother and a small, you know, Omaha contingency is going to be in the bubble. What's that going to mean to you? to be able to hear their voices clearly like that in the bubble cheering you on? Well, it means a lot being that, you know, I never really had too many fights without my family actually being there to support me. And uh, it just added a little more motivation to me going out there and taking care of business come Saturday. Kel, before we wrap up, you got the champ sitting right here. Anything you want to say? Nothing to say. The talk, the talk is done. Not gonna cancel. All the, all the work has been in the gym. It's just time to perform now. I'm ready. ESPN. The main event will begin approximately seven o'clock Pacific. From Sheffield, England, the special one, Cal
this welterweight championship fight. Yeah, so uh, all the talk about Kill Brook possibly not making a way. You can throw that out the window. Mm -hmm. He not only made the weight, but he looked real good doing it. And Terrence Crawford is always on point with his weight and his physique. And both guys are prime and ready, man. There's really nothing else to talk about. Did you about. see the legs of Kill Brook? They look like Terrence Crawford legs, both of them put together. <laughs> I mean, it, that's where all the power comes from. Yeah. You know, he looks phenomenal. He does look like he's in tremendous shape. We think about it. Age 34 years old, he said he's in the best shape of his life. He said he's better than he was when he was fought against Spence, Earl Spence. He said better than when he beat Porter. Wow. Wow. He said he's like, he's like, I'm like a fine wine. I get better with time. Now, this is what we had with Lomachenko and Lopez with the COVID restrictions of the distancing for the face-off and the poses of the way in. Now, with Lomachenko and Lopez, remember, that didn't hold up for too long. It all depends on how they feel, Joe. It all depends on how they feel. They turn towards each other right now. The number one fighter in the world is Brian Bo McIntyre and Team Crawford. Loud and confident holding on to that WBO welterweight world championship belt. We will have guests here tomorrow. They are allowing for family and friends, first responders, and select folks to be guests. 100 will be in the bubble. COVID tested. That is something new. The Vegas bubble has been empty up until this championship fight of only those on the broadcast crew and the fighters camps and the top rank operation group they have not turned away from each other as they went for a couple minutes the other day let's listen in